Hi there. Now, in this question, we're asked to solve the equation 4 cos squared x plus 7 sine x minus 7 equals 0. Giving all the values of x between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Now, if you'd like to fast forward, you can just check out the answers or I'll take you through the solution now. So, what we've got here is an equation then with two different trig functions in, cos x and sin x. And what we need to do is get it into an equation with the same trigonometric function. And what we can do then is pick up on this identity. That is that cos squared x plus sine squared x is identical to 1. And from this, if we make cos squared x the subject, we can express it in terms of sine squared x. So cos squared x is identical to 1 minus sine squared x. And what we can do is substitute this into our equation here. And if we do that, we therefore have that the equation becomes 4 multiplied by 1 minus sine squared x in place of cos squared x and then plus 7 sine x minus 7 and that's going to equal 0. Next I'd want to expand the bracket out and if we do that we get 4 minus 4 sine squared x and then plus 7 sine x minus the 7 and that equals 0. Now we've got a quadratic equation in sine x appearing here so what I need to do is rearrange it. Make it equal to naught, yes, but uh, let's group some terms and make this term positive by multiplying through by negative 1. If I do I'm going to have this as 4 sine squared x and then we'd have minus 7 sine x and then minus 4 plus 7 which is going to be plus 3 and that will equal 0. So to solve this quadratic equation now in sine x I could use the quadratic formula where a was 4, b was minus 7 and c was 3 but this factorizes so I'm going to just opt for factorizing. We're going to have two brackets going to equal 0 and first bracket will have 4 sine x and we'll have here sine x to give us 4 sine squared x and then we'll have minus 3 here and minus 1. So we've got minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3 and then we've got minus 4 sine x minus 3 sine x which comes together to give us minus 7 sine x. So each factor must be equal to 0 so therefore 4 sine x minus 3 must equal 0 or the other factor sine x minus 1 must equal 0. So if we take this equation add 3 to both sides 4 sine x would equal 3 divide by 4 and you end up with sine x equals 3 quarters or for this one if we add 1 to both sides we end up with sine x equals 1. So we'll just border this off and we'll take each equation separately. We'll start off with the easier of the two equations and that is when sine x equals 1. And for this if we inverse sine both sides x equals the inverse sine of 1. And we should know this really straight off it's 90 degrees. Or you could draw a graph. It's up to you. If we drew a graph this was x this is the y-axis and we were looking at drawing the graph of y equals sine x. We should know that this graph starts from the origin rises up to 1 at 90 degrees 0 at 180 minus 1 at 270 and 0 at 360 degrees. So 
we've got that it's 1 at 90 degrees. There's no other solutions in this range between 0 and 360 degrees apart from the 90 degrees then. Now, when we take the other equation, let's just put it down, when sine x equals 3 quarters, to get x then, we just need to take the inverse sine of 3 quarters. Now to do this, you could do it by a graphical method, but I prefer to do it by the quadrant method. I'm assuming you're familiar with the quadrant method. If not, just check it out on my website, where we have this at 0 degrees, this is at 90, 180, 270, and 360 degrees. And we've got sine is positive, and it's positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So we draw two lines equally inclined to the horizontal line here. Okay, and one out there. Okay, mark those two angles in as the same. And then the values for x that we want will be starting at zero, turning anti-clockwise to the first blue line. This is one x. And then the other solution will be starting from here, turning all the way around to the other blue line. And that too is another possible value for x. Now when you inverse sine 3 quarters on your calculator, make sure you're in degrees mode, you should find that you get x to be equal to 48.590 and so on degrees. And that corresponds to this red x here. This blue angle in here will be 48.590 and so on degrees. So to get the green x, all we have to do is 180 minus this blue angle, which is 48.590. So if you do 180 minus this angle, you will find you'll get 131.409 and so on degrees. Now if I give the solutions to three significant figures and in ascending order, this first one here is going to be 48.6 degrees. We'll just put that in as 3SF, three significant figures. We've got an exact answer here of 90 degrees. And then the other one would be 131 degrees given to three significant figures. Okay.